Hi, my name is Lincoln Baxter, the creator of Pretty Faces. Today I'd like to show you how easy it is to add Pretty Faces to an existing JSF2 application. This is our demo page. As you can see, it's simple. It accepts a query parameter called name, and I'm going to pass it my name so you can see how this works. The page is updated to show the value of that parameter directly in the content. Let's take a look at this page in the JSF code. We have a view parameter that takes the name query attribute and converts that into an expression that we can use directly into the page. The first thing we need to do to add pretty faces to this project is to add the Maven dependency to our project pom file. I've taken the liberty of doing this ahead of time so that we don't need to restart the server. The next thing we need to do is create a prettyconfig.xml file. This file lives in the webinf directory of your application. Right now we have a blank configuration. What I would like to see is a page with the address hello that takes my name or any other name and displays that to the user. This is the URL mapping, the core of the Pretty Faces configuration. We specify the pattern that we want to match and the view that we want JSF or any other servlet within the container to render. You'll notice that we didn't have to restart the application to see the changes. If JSF is running in development project stage, Pretty Faces will automatically reload the configuration. That's how easy it was to add pretty faces to this simple application.